Y'all remember when Jesus fed those 5,000 people in the wilderness? Did you continue reading and find out what happened to those people? Wait a minute. So what you're telling me is that when Jesus took the people out in the wilderness to give them bread and, and feed them with loaves and, and fish, he actually killed them? Wow. I guess Jesus is a murderer. Or is he? First off, you're coming from John chapter 6 when Jesus says he is the bread of life that has come down from heaven as the manna that would give life. He's comparing himself to that which was talked about in the days of Moses in Exodus chapter 16 when the manna came down in the wilderness and the father surely did die. Why did they die? Because Yahweh gave bread that would kill people. They wouldn't survive with that physical manna, with that physical bread. Whereas Jesus came along as the bread of life to bring eternal life. Jesus' body is a representation of that bread. His blood is a representation of wine. And it's a representation of the gospel or the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. But guess what? It's not a human sacrifice to his father. It was a sacrifice to the God Yahweh so that the people could be free from the law. This is why Jesus said in Matthew 20, verse 28, that the Son of Man has come to become a ransom for many. I go not but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, those who were held underneath the law. So here's the thing. Jesus didn't kill anyone out in the wilderness. This is talking about in the days of Moses when they died. Jesus was comparing himself to this, because he was showing that he was the true bread of life, whereas the bread that Yahweh gave in the wilderness with Moses, the people did die because they were under the law. The law is of sin and death. This is why people died. Jesus came to free them. He was that ransom. His body and his blood was a ransom to the God of the Old Testament, because the people were held captive against their will. Jesus even makes this clear in Luke 14. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, and he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, preach to the deliverance of the captives, and the recovering of the sight to the blind. They were held captive against their will. And within it, Yahweh was the one that held them captive. And Yahweh was getting ready to be the one that was going to be overthrown as the prince of this world. So before you start saying stuff, before you start saying that Jesus killed them out in the wilderness, you really need to go read your Bible, all right? I'm going to start doing these call-out videos with people because I'm getting sick of this. I really am. Bunch of misinformation on the internet. And if you guys want to try to call me out, go for it as well. But here's the thing. I hold lives. A lot of times of the week. And here's the thing. You ever want to come on and talk? I'll talk. God bless you. I love you. You have a good night.